hi everyone welcome to my channel here in this tutorial we are going to see geometry material and coordinate system so let's start first uh, what we are going to do component system we are taking engineering data another is geometry and in the end the static structural so what we are going to do we are going to use this engineering data to here so here we are sharing then geometry okay so first like we are going to import geometry browse student input file here we are going to import soft bearings that's a space claim file and this is step file we are going to take this is space claim file open now we are going to double click here so this is the space claim and this is the file both side general bearings are there and this is the base and there are two pulleys are there and this is soft so here like uh, these bearings are made up of uh, copper here bearings are there inside so those are be made up of copper housing is stainless steel and this shaft is made up of uh, steel pulley aluminium alloy and bolts and are steel and ground this ground is uh, made from grey cast iron so all these materials we have to add in the engineering data so i'm going to close this one and refresh projects okay then we are going engineering data then data source so general materials and here this uh, stainless steel we are going to click ok young modulus is 1.7 here one point one seven zero mega pascal so here units we are going to change this metric <coughs> Okay, now we are going to change a new material that is grey cast iron. okay close this one and uh, double click on model what we are going to do first we are going to suppress unwanted things like uh, uh, this plug that is not required so suppress it 
and uh, other one plug also we are going to suppress this edge this is also not required here suppress this is also not required this also we are going to suppress and uh, this also not required so suppress press body This is also not required. Okay. Now what we are going to do We are going to change that material. So bearing this one is bearing it is made up of uh, copper. So we are going to change it to copper. Housing housing is SS. this soft steel This pulley is made up of aluminium alloy that is not seen here. So what we will do, we will go to again project engineering data and here is aluminium alloy add. Okay. Close this and update project. So this has been updated. Then we will go to again. Here the components both are made up of aluminium alloy. Aluminium alloy. Okay. And here rings. These are made from stainless steel. OK. 
Okay. Ground. These both ground is uh, made up of uh, grey cast iron, bolt nut. These are made up of steel. Okay. So next what we are going to do So click on geometry here we can see by material so these are of same material bearings are also same material they are same material okay Now our next step is to insert a point mass that is here. So insert point mass, geometries like this one, apply and 1 kg. Okay, we have applied point mass here and click on geometry then go to home and click on worksheet so here we have to check stiffness behavior should be flexible for all the components okay now again what we are going to do, we are going to insert a coordinate system. So here uh, 200 Newton load is applied downward in Z direction and here, here that uh, pulley tension is in this direction that is 30 degree from this X axis from horizontal 30 degree. So we have, we need coordinate system so that we can apply a, a load. So we are going to create a local coordinate system. Okay. So that load will be in between these two faces. So right now it's a smart select. We can also select this face, select this face, control this face now apply so it is coming in between these two faces now we have to rotate this x by 30 degree about y so what we can do we can go to coordinate system rotate about y Rotate about Y and go here, 30. No, we need upward, so minus 30 we can create, okay. We have created coordinate system. So this tutorial is going to end here. We have seen geometry imported in the space claim and then we have applied material for all the component and created coordinate system. Okay, thank you.